Someone there. Go away. Go away. And we're in the very scary place of the dumping ground. Tracy sees something. It's the monster. It's gruesome. And it smells really, really bad. What are we going to do now? What's going on in this spare bedroom? Don't go there. It's law school project. The kids are helping out. They're making a film. It's about a room that no one goes into. Whee! Ever. And Tracy is now reaching out towards the monster. Oh. So how do I look? Creepy. How creepy? Not as creepy as you look without the mask. <laughs> hey. And it smells really, really bad. What are we going to do now? And Tracy is now reaching out towards the monster. Oh. Ah! Good night! Ah! <laughs> Good luck. Oh. Okay, who knows any really gruesome ghost stories? Oh, I thought I'd be scary, honest. <laughs> to the toilet. Louise! Can you come with me? I can't help it. It's those ghost stories. I'm really spooked. <sighs> Justine! Don't be such a baby! Tracy Beaker, Ghostbuster. I believe we've all met Amber, despite the fact that she arrived very late last night. But I'm sure we all want to welcome her formally to our home. And I hope she'll be very happy. So she's run away from her last two homes. Doesn't mean she won't settle in this one. Oh, my God. 
She just needs a chance, that's all. Once she makes friends, she'll be fine. I have done it. Done what? Ow! Written the next scene. Now all I need is a scary mutant. Too goofy. Just doesn't do it for me. Too blonde. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Too stupid looking, and where is the talent around here? I'm never gonna get it finished. Go! This place sucks. Oh, here's the pit. Oi! Yeah? Mad. You just sort of do. When I took off from my last two homes, I just closed my eyes and then it. Well, go on, then. I just pick a place and still my eyes closed. And then I just take off. Public toilet. Scotland. Too near. Wales. And to Mongolia. America. Australia. Sit up there. And that's vandalism, that is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Lucy! She's really okay. In fact, she can be a lot of fun. 
maybe we should get a Ren and Ninja horror movie as um, woo, uh, something. The, the scary, scary mutants. mutants. Yeah, the scary mutants. Mutant. Mutant. So where is it? Where's what? My camera. I left it in my room. Has anyone seen Amber? She's supposed to be having an assessment session with Elaine. She's really pushing her luck. You better not be looking for me. And don't go getting these stupid ideas about trying to be my friend. I don't do friends. Friends let you down. Like family. So, what are you doing? Have you got any plans? Don't do plans either. Just taking off. Where to? Anywhere I fancy. Trouble is, I was going to flog this. Use the money for bus fare. But it's got a security tag, isn't it? I've tried all the shops, no one will take it. You won't get very far without money. Did you work that out all by yourself? Maybe you should come back to the dumping ground while you think of something else. Oh, they kill me. You've only been gone a couple of hours. And this? How do I explain that? So, the way it will go now is the girl runs out of the room that no one ever, ever goes into. She runs into the woods. Only to find. Ah! She really shouldn't go to the river. There's Amber's idea. Come on. Great. Come on, Amber. That was really scary. And that's why she took my camera. Because she wanted to shoot some stuff herself. Of course. She wasn't stealing it. What's the point? It's got a security tag. She couldn't sell it anyway. No, it hasn't. Remember, viewers, watching TV gives you square eyes. Not! Louise, what are you doing? I was only trying it on. Do you think it suits me? Uh, my dad just got me that jacket and I haven't even worn it yet. Oh, well. You better get a move on. You can grow out of it. You're always borrowing my clothes. Oh, well, you can borrow mine any time you like. Oh, yeah? Next time I get invited to a fancy dress party and decide to go as a wuss... That Justine Littlewood, she's such a... <coughs> so tell me something I don't already know. Who are they? Come on. Come on. Hey, come on. Oh, I'm sorry, Jenny. I didn't realise this is a prison. Amber, it's just that we like to know where you are at least some of the time. Look, I'm just going out. Out? Where? Oh, Out, out of control, out of my mind. <sighs> I know, Jenny. There's nothing big or clever about being in a gang. Well, unless, of course, it's a really cool gang. <laughs> hey, Amber, will you be back for lunch? Hey! Lunch in the fork! Hey! Lol, leave it. <laughs> How rude. Mm. Well, you don't see Justine pushing them around, do you? It's your fault, that is. Oh, yeah, it's always my fault. Yeah, if you're only going to fuck for you. Amber's going to missing just one thing. It's a beaker element. <laughs> I mean, just until I start a gang of my own, everybody will want to be in the beaker gang. And I'll all have to do as I say, or face the consequences. <laughs> No, Tracy. I was far too busy with my schoolwork to get involved in such foolishness. <laughs> Amber's gang aren't so hot. I mean, all they do is hang around talking about boys and clothes and music. Oh, well, how do you know? Um, I just do, okay? Hi, cats. Hey, chicken burgers. Radical. 
Louise, what are you dressed as? Hey kid, if you have to ask, you'll never know. Well, I think you look very, um... Um... Mashed potato? Yeah, spam it, daddy-o. Hi, Lou. Look, I'm sorry about what I said before. Hey, look, my dad's bought me a new CD. Huh? Are you still listening to that wussy music? Look, I just want to get my ball back. I think aftershave is a bit much. Sunglasses. You wouldn't understand. It's ironic. They've sent you to keep tabs on me, have they? Oh, yes. I'm not me at all. I'm a social worker. In fact, I'm a master of disguise. Look, will you just leave me alone? OK, fine. It's just you missed lunch. I thought I might bring over some leftovers. Oh, wow. Thanks. The girl gets everywhere. Hi, dude. <laughs> okay. Um, it's Tracy in. We're gonna go shopping. Tracy? She went ages ago, dude. Oh. She must have forgotten. Oh, well. Oh, by the way, I'm not a dude. Sorry, dude. Aren't you supposed to nap, man? I did knock. Aren't you supposed to be working on your geography rather than your amber impressions? Homework is for wimps. Louise? Okay, okay, don't bust a gut, sweet cheeks. What did you just call me? Uh, nothing. Sorry. <laughs> the writing's gone all funny. Sunglasses? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Jenny. Look, it's not my kind of gang, Trace. You can't just join. But they liked me. Oh, you're an urchin. They were taking pity on you. I made them laugh. It'll be good hanging around with you lot. Yeah, fine. Yes. After you've completed the initiation test. For what? Hey, we're a gang, not a book club. OK, what do I have to do? Oh, I don't know. I hear the new CD by the bad guy, Brothers, is pretty good. But that's a double album. That's really expensive. Well, um, there are ways of getting things that don't involve spending money, if you know what I mean. Clothes. I thought I had any nice clothes. Throw them in the fire. If we had a fire. 
No, I mean stylish. Yeah, I quite agree. I think this one's too small for me now. Fancy it? What? Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Thanks, Amber. Hey, Lou. Do you want to try my new skirt? You can borrow it if you like. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. It comes up quite quickly for a girl. I'll ignore that comment, because I know you're only a boy and you can't help it. Hey, get us a glass lamb line, would you? No problem. It's a cheat, I'll show you in a minute. Cheers, mate. Oh, you have got to be joking me. So what's the big attraction anyway? Oh, Amber. I see. Not a member of the fan club, then. Glad to see there's still some sane people left. Yeah, she seems to have shaken things up a bit at your place. Even Tracy's been acting weird. And Tracy's always been so normal. Thing is, she was around my place earlier and... Well, I think she took something. Tracy? No. What? I'd rather not say. Uh, it wouldn't be a CD by any chance, would it? Hey? Hey, the Bad Guy Brothers album! Yeah, I borrowed it. Wow, nice one. <laughs> hey, Ben. What's up, dude? What? Have you seen Tracy? She stood me up. Oh, aren't you upset? Well, a bit. You know me and Tracy, we're always upsetting each other. I think that's just how relationships work. Is something up? Ah, you need a cup of tea. Come in. And we ought to do something with that hideout. It's a mess. <laughs> and those sunglasses. <laughs> they have got to go. That's so old fashioned. Uh, what are you talking about? The gang. Our gang? No, Beaker. They aren't our gang. They're my friends. You know? Away from this horrible dump? Away from stupid social workers? Away from annoying little brats like you? But, but the CD, you said if, if I... If I said, go play in the traffic, would you do that? Let's see, shall we? Go play in the traffic. Where's my jacket? You said I could have it. Well, I've changed my mind. I'm sick of you brats trying to be like me. But I've customised it. It's just ribbon and sequins. You've ruined it! Why can't you stop these little kids from messing with my stuff? Hi, Amber. And you two can stop spying on me as well! Hey, I bet I could do you a good tattoo with my permanent marker pen. Yeah. Alright then. Ben, I've been looking for you everywhere. No, you haven't. Not everywhere, that would have taken ages. Listen, um, your bad guy brother CD, I might have forgotten to tell you I was borrowing it. And I might forget to ever lend you anything ever again. What's this? I bought you the single. It's got some extra songs on. 
You don't have to do that. I know. But sometimes it's important to let your real friends know how much you appreciate them. Mm, very heartwarming, Tracy. And don't tell me, even though you've used up the last of your pocket money on a present from Ben, you somehow still want me to take